Somalia continues to suffer from a prolonged humanitarian crisis. The country has witnessed unbearable human suffering caused by famine, drought, and epidemics of disease that have claimed thousands of innocent lives. The population's health continues to suffer. The work of the World Health Organization in Somalia is a test of time and pride. Our work continues in five technical areas. Universal health care, health emergency, polio and immunization, communicable diseases, healthy well-being. Our work in the area of universal health care is ensuring everyone, everywhere, gets health care, despite the fragility of health systems. Primary health care remains the fundamental system for universal health care coverage. Only 20 to 30 percent of the population have access to universal health care now. We are changing this status quo. We respond to every health emergency, protecting the vulnerable. Our e-warn system is keeping the country safe with early detection of health threats. Our work has kept the country polio-free since 2014. Despite the type 2 and type 3 vaccine-derived polio virus circulating, we are almost there. Our end is in sight. We are so close to making this country free from this disease. Leaving no child behind is how our work is making a difference in turning the tide on childhood diseases. Routine immunization coverage remains one of the lowest. First dose measles vaccination coverage was only 70% in 2018. Our support is ensuring that health workers check door to door to make sure that every child is protected.
الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ودعي قريقة سوى دعي قريقة سد ودعي أريبو وضع نفو وضع قريقة سوى دعي قريقة بربو في تقول جراء يبالها سوى هيا موسيقى <تصفيق> ولكنها <تصفيق>
Bill Gates is backing the first high-altitude experiment of one radical climate change solution, creating a massive chemical cloud that could cool the Earth. It's called solar geoengineering, and it's highly controversial. Another climate change solution backed by Bill Gates and by Big Oil. It involves sucking billions of tons of carbon out of the air. And at $1 to $200 a ton, it could be big business. Solar geoengineering, on the other hand, is so cheap that nobody currently stands to make money from the process. Bill Gates is among a dozen individual donors and 14 foundations backing the first stratospheric solar geoengineering experiment out of Harvard. It's called Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment, or SCOPEX. A high-altitude balloon will lift instruments about 20 kilometers into the stratosphere, where it will release less than 2 kilograms of different naturally occurring chemicals, like calcium carbonate and sulfates, and then measure the change in atmospheric chemistry and light scattering. The Harvard group that runs Scopex and other experiments has raised more than $16 million, more than double any other solar geoengineering effort. And annual global funding has gone up from 1 million in 2008 to 8 million in 2018, with the majority of that funding coming from the U.S. on the other hand, is so cheap that nobody currently stands to make money from the process. So cheap that nobody currently stands to make money from the process. Nobody currently stands to make money from the process.